Uniting neighbors in drug abuse defense. That's what we're talking about. Basically, drinking and driving, the big no-no. I've got Melissa Alviar here with me, as well as Officer Ortega from the Mission PD. And we're talking about this 4th of July weekend. It's a logical focal point for addressing the issue of drinking and driving. What is your message? Our message, or the coalition's message, is if you are going to drink, make sure that you're not going to be on the streets. There's going to be a lot of other innocent people on the streets with their families having fun. Make sure it's somewhere safe and where there's not going to be no injuries mm -hmm. or harms to anybody else. And from the law enforcement end of it, Officer Ortega, it's, it's just something you'd rather not have to do, I imagine. That's correct. Uh, too often we see the, the consequence of uh, someone who... Uh, take the choice to uh, operate a vehicle uh, under the influence or impaired, and um, not just putting yourself in danger, but everyone who shares the road with you as well. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous for both parties, and typically, or not, perhaps not typically, but so often, the innocent party is the one that suffers the most. That's correct. We, uh, we see it uh, quite often in, uh, where someone innocent gets hurt or, or injured, or in some cases, uh, fatalities. Why did you decide to get involved in this? As I said earlier, it's a passion. It's something that, uh, as Officer Ortega said, it's a choice. There is a choice. Nobody needs to get hurt. It's a choice to get behind a wheel, behind a car, or, or get into a car. It's a weapon once you're impaired and you have no idea what you're doing. And as I said earlier, now it's made it more of a, uh, an effort to make sure that I'm, I mobilize and educate our our young uh, adults, our youth, to make sure that they don't follow into these steps and ruin their lives because of a choice they've made in uh, their childhood or as a youth or as a teenager or as a, a young adult. Now, maybe people don't know this, but as law enforcement, you are trained with special little tidbits on how to observe people and, and know what to look for in terms of drinking and driving, yes? That's correct. And uh, over the years, as you, uh, as you become uh, as an officer with more years, those kind of things, those kind of red uh, flags, mm -hmm. you could observe on the roadway. Uh, the failure to maintain a single mark lane, those uh, either speeding or going below the speed limit, those little things, the little cues, we could absorb, observe uh, easier so as time goes on. You're not going to get away with it. That's true. And uh, that's a part of enforcement. We want to get those uh, intoxicated drivers out of the roadways. Outstanding. Well, thank you to you both. Thank you. A very noble cause that you're supporting and working with. And again, Mission PD and Uniting Neighbors in Drug Abuse Defense. Don't drink and drive this holiday, the three-day holiday. You've got plenty of time to stay at home or go to a friend's house and have a ball. And you're going to have a forecast that will pretty much let you have a pretty good time. All that's coming up in just a bit.